Hello everyone, my name is Yuki and today we're going to take a look at our Anthropology 3.0 example files. So we're going to take a file over here, specifically this logo driven textures, and we're going to modify it by adding our own inputs and even adding our own logos to drive some various texturing capabilities. So once you open up the Anthop file, you'll notice a couple of things. You'll find our surface generated using the fields around our end top logo located at the center to create these nice waves around it. Now, if we look into our notebook, you'll find a couple of inputs. Uh, you'll find this origin over here and clicking a value in that area, you will be able to move this logo into the XYZ direction. It's going to rerun the entire workflow once moved, and it's going to recreate our new surface texture just like that. Now, if we want to change up our wavelengths between each other, we can do so by changing either the wavelength A or wavelength B in our notebook. Now, if you scroll down, you'll find these texture swatches and you can scroll through all the different types of texturing that we're able to do on our plate. So in this case, we have our surface roughened up over here. Now, if we want some if you want to perforate our plate, we can do so as well. If we want to add some triangle wave textures, we can do that as well. And lastly, we have our leather effect. Let's create these nice leather effect with that wavy pattern on our plate. Now, what if we wanted to change out the logo with one of our own custom logos to drive our texture? So right now the end top logo is driving our texture, but what if we imported our own logo to drive it around the shape of that? So rather than creating your own logo in CAD, I created a workflow where I can take a PNG file logo, for example, this generic Wi-Fi logo I found on the web and import it as a bitmap and using the colors of the logo, in my case, black and white, and taking the grayscale of that, I can create an implicit body and use that logo to drive the texture on that plate, just like how I did the, with the anthropology logo. So if we go back to our original Entop file, we had our anthropology logo driving those textures earlier, but this time we're going to bring in our own custom logo. So using that workflow that I created where I can take any bitmap, in this case, we're going to take this Wi-Fi logo. It's going to run that entire workflow on the back end because I condensed that entire workflow into this one single block, and then it's going to output my Wi-Fi implicit model over here. And now with this implicit model, I can simply just take this variable, drag this into where it's asking for an object, and it's gonna run through this entire workflow down here where all our textures are. So if I turn one of these on, you'll notice that our texture is now being driven by our logo. So you can use this workflow over and over again for different logos without creating a new workflow for each logo. And it saves you a lot of time and reduces the time to manufacture because you already have the workflow ready to be used and it can be exported as soon as it renders. And this is very useful because you can also use this to put brandings on your parts if needed and you can add that little texture around it if needed using these various textures we have available for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new today. Thank you. If you're curious about anything at Anthropology, set up a few minutes with us and a demo to get your questions answered. Go to anthropology.com, click on get a demo, and simply fill out the form to speak with an NTOP expert. If you're an existing user and want to dig deeper, feel free to check out support.anthropology.com to access our help center.